from our past session, which you can still see using our social media platforms, can you shout out God's big message for you last Sunday? Very good kids! Let us now say hi to the kids who joined us for the first time. You deserve this one awesome clap! One, two, three! One, two, three! Awesome! Ready to start our session? Let us now pray the Novena to God's love and join the powerful worship in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome kid. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come on, kids! It's worship time!
awesome kids! I am Teacher Hazel and welcome to our special Christmas feast today! Kids, Christmas is fast approaching and in a few days we will be celebrating Christmas! Are you excited? Yeah! And because it is Jesus' birthday, do you already know what gift to give him? Or are you still thinking about it? If so, I have a request from you. Is that okay? When you have thought of the gift you wish to give Jesus, can you come visit our AKM Facebook page and share with us on the comments section what they are? We are excited to read them. Thank you, kids. You are indeed our angels. Speaking of angels, shall we look back on the night when Jesus was born and how the angels relate the good news? That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Kids, if you were shepherds during that time, what would you feel? Would you be terrified like them? I would be too. Imagine you are tending to your ship and something glowing and shining appeared from nowhere. We'd be terrified too. But there is one assurance the angel gave them. Do not be afraid. And if you review the Bible, this was the same message that was given by the angels each time they appeared. To Daniel, to Zechariah, to Hagar, and even to Mama Mary. Probably the angels know that anything that is unfamiliar or unknown to us causes us to be afraid. Fast forward today. We imagine how an angel looks like. In our modern world, we imagine that if they appear before us, they would appear beautiful, bright, probably with halo and wings and even a neon blinking light sign to deliver their message. What do you think? Kidding aside, kids, would you agree that God doesn't usually use the angels we read about the Bible to deliver his message? In fact, he may not be using friendly faces to deliver them. Sometimes, he'll use an unlikely messenger, someone you would not even consider. Same thing with our big message today. May I have the honor to share it with you. Kids, do not be afraid. I am here to share with you today's big message. Receive the gift. And what is this gift? Let's read our key verse together to find out, shall we? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That is from the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. Kids, as we prepare for Christmas, let us always keep in mind that the prettiest presents don't always come in perfect packaging. In fact, the most glorious present the world has received was wrapped in simple swaddling clothes. Remember that amongst the gifts we receive and will receive, Jesus himself is our greatest gift from God. So if you allow me to be your angel today, I would like to share five simple messages that can make your Christmas season more meaningful. First, 
a peaceful message. Christmas is a time of peace. If you notice, during Christmas, we are more forgiving, more giving, more loving, right? But would you agree with me that it is during this season that we encounter the not-so-peaceful part like our parents completing their shopping list, trying to buy a last-minute gift for our Christmas party, or preparing to chase our ninongs and ninongs? Before Mary's birth of Jesus, there was also chaos. They had to travel a long distance, and when they arrived in Jerusalem, there was even no place for them to stay. Staying in the manger with all the animals was not the most comfortable place, especially when giving birth. But it did not matter. The Messiah was in their midst. Even when the nation was not at peace, Jesus, the peacemaker, was finally born into the nation. The same thing with our lives, kids. Despite our problems and the chaos we experience today, if you have Jesus, you can have peace. Second, a practical message. When Israel had been praying for a Savior, God sent to them the answer. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord was born in Bethlehem, the city of David. Kids, are you praying for something? The practical message is this. God knows what you need. But He also knows the difference between what you want and what you need. He also knows the perfect time to give what you need. And that is when you are ready for it. You see, if we always get what we want, when we want it, and how we want it, we might not appreciate His blessing. So He gives you what you need in His perfect time, not in our time. Always remember this, kids. If you have not received what you are praying for, chances are God is waiting for the right time and is preparing something better for you. Third, a promising message when the angel announced I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people that joy is with us today the gift of Jesus is a joy that will not only stay during this Christmas season but for always so keep Jesus in your heart and that joy will stay with you always fourth a present message. Kids, do you agree that there are people who think they're not blessed? They look at other people's lives and ask, why can't my life be like theirs? I am sure from time to time we compare and complain why others are blessed and we are not. But kids, do you know that God's blessings for us is always big? Really, Teacher Hazel? Yes! But we fail to see those big blessings because our perspective is small. I give you an example. Feel your heart. Is it beating? Yeah? Then, you are alive. Being alive is a great thing, kids. Isn't it not a big blessing? Another example, what was yesterday? The past, right? How about tomorrow? The future. And today? The present. Kids, God is blessing you now, just as He blessed you in the past and in the future. Widen your perspective and you can see His blessing. Lastly, a personal message. When the angel of the Lord said, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people, it is a personal message to you. Jesus came to hand deliver great joy to you, to me, to all of us. Not just joy for this season, but a joy that will last for a lifetime. Jesus is what makes Christmas special. Can you make something special for him too? How? Then, 
Make it personal too by putting him into your heart. By personally bringing joy this Christmas. Can you tell us to whom you can personally hand deliver some love this season? Put it on our comment section, okay? Kids, our big message today is receive the gift. Christmas is not about the gifts you receive though. In fact, it is okay if we don't receive a lot of gifts. Because it's not our birthday. Unless your birthday falls during Christmas. But news flash, we don't need lots of gifts. We just need one. Let's receive the gift of Jesus today. Merry Christmas! See you next week. Bye! Hello, dear awesome kids. I am Teacher Avon. The Christmas fields are now here, so let me be among the first to greet you. Merry Christmas! And because we are only counting seven more days until we celebrate Christmas Day, let me help you prepare a gift for Jesus on His birthday. Will that be alright, awesome kids? In today's talk, we'll learn ways on how we can make our Christmas season more meaningful. We were taught that Jesus personally came down from heaven to hand deliver each of us a gift that will not just give us joy for a season, but joy for a lifetime. He has a gift for us on His birthday. How about you kids? What will you give to Jesus as a gift for His birthday this Christmas? To help you think about that, we are now going to help you make your gifts of love and joy offering for our activity. Please gather the following materials you will need. Printable gifts of love and joy template, pair of scissors, coloring and decorating materials. First, let your parents or guardians assist you in following the instructions, especially when printing the template and using the scissors. Cut the gift boxes from the template. At the back of each of the gift boxes, write what personal birthday presents you can offer to Jesus on his birthday this Christmas. For sure, Jesus will be more than happy to receive your gifts that can bring love and joy to other people. When you finish writing down your gifts for Jesus, offer them to Him in your home altar or in your home Belen if you have one. Don't forget to kneel before Jesus and whisper a prayer as you give Him your gifts. Don't forget to let someone take your photo as you offer your gifts to Jesus and post it in the comment section of the Peace PACC AM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page. One awesome clap for your great work and artistic talent kids! One, two, three! One, two, three! Awesome! Again, remember Christmas is not about the gifts you receive. It's okay even if you don't receive a lot of gifts because it's not your birthday. Jesus is the birthday celebrant this Christmas. That is why you don't need a lot of gifts for yourself. Keep with you our big message for today. Receive the gift. You just need one. Jesus. Thank you and have a most meaningful Christmas season, awesome kids. We love you. Let us now get ready to pray our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye, friends.